standard 6 at Super Smart School. My classmates Anas, Ashraf, Labiba, Mahanuk and Elham are here with me. So today we are going to discuss the components of air. I mean we are going to understand if air is one substance or it is composed of many ingredients. First of all I would like to ask Anas to tell us about it. Well there I have raised a very valid question. See earlier people believe that air was just one substance. But Experiments have proved that air is not just one substance. It is a mixture. Yes, it is a mixture of many gases. We can discuss the component of this mixture that is called air. Yes, I am not let us try to know about the components that make air. I would like to say that air contains water or water. You must have noticed that when air comes in contact with a cold surface, air condenses and changes into drops of water. Air to change into drops of water, cold, it condenses, it is cooled down. It's cooled down. This is this show that this show that there is water vapor. You must have this show that there is water vapor in change into drops of water. You are right, Ashna. Water vapor in air is important for the water cycle in nature. Let us know about another important component of air. I mean oxygen. Oxygen is a gas and it is a very important for life on the earth. We can understand the presence of oxygen by one a simple experiment. For this we like two candles on a table. Now if we cover one candle with a glass tumbler, we notice that the candle that is covered gets extinguished after some time while the uncovered candle continues burning. This happens because of lack of oxygen. When we cover the candle, the candle blows out after it has used all the oxygen present in the glass tumbler. It means that oxygen supports burning. You are right, there oxygen supports burning and oxygen is a very important component of air. When we breathe, we take in oxygen. This oxygen goes to our lungs, from lungs to the heart and from all the parts of our body. Oxygen helps in the release of energy at the cellular level. When we discuss that water vapor oxygen and natural lungs are present in air and around us, another small component of air is carbon dioxide. See, some, you see if there is something like wood burning in a room. We feel suffocation. Mm, this is due to production of excess carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide on burning something. You are right, I should have carbon dioxide is present in air, but I would like to say that this present in air is small quantity. Yeah, this is what I said. You said, well, I would like to add that animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. When something when it produces carbon dioxide in air, excesses carbon dioxide pollute air, so will should not burn dry leaves and discarded the image of crops and protect our surrounding from pollution. I would like to add one thing here: dust particles and smoke are also present in air. The smoke contains a few gases and fine dust particles and is often harmful. Yes, you are right. The burning of fuel also produces smoke. We that is why we can see long chimneys in factories. These chimneys take the harmful smoke and gases away from our noses. We should conclude next time for the next classes. Yes, sir. Well, what we can say that there is not just one substance, rather oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, smoke and dust particles are the main components of air. That's it. Let's go to the class now. Let's go to the office. office.